We are hurtling toward the day when climate change could be irreversible. Sea levels climate change is a big deal. Irresponsible human behavior over the last century has left our planet in a mess. And at times, the things we do to be more eco-friendly can feel like they have little impact. Luckily, the simple and easy solution we can turn to when trying to be more green is recycling. Right? Generally, we expect universities to promote eco-friendly and sustainable communities. And at first glance, Walla Walla really looks like it lives up to that expectation. There's Azu Bikes for Transportation, a vegetarian calf, and everywhere you walk on campus, you can find recycling bins. They're pretty much everywhere. There's even a bin behind the Atlas. There's bins for paper, glass, plastic, and aluminum, which sounds pretty great. But what if I told you that most of what's put in these bins ends up in a landfill and is actually never recycled? That Walla Walla doesn't recycle at all. Not long ago, the Collegian investigated this topic. Feature writer Cynthia Ochoa wrote a piece making claims that Walla Walla currently does not send recyclable materials to the recycling center. I think a lot of people think that we do recycle. I mean, why wouldn't they? There's the recycling camps in every building. And even quotes a professor saying that all the recycle bins on campus are a farce. Hearing this could understandably make you angry. Thinking about all the time you wasted trying to figure out which bin your kombucha was supposed to go in is frustrating. Could it all just be going to the landfill? I scampered all around campus trying to find answers, but most importantly, trying to find the truth. And what I found was interesting. Turns out that back in the day, Azu used to be very active in recycling and even held an official position for the job. We recycled aluminum cans, glass bottles, tin cans, all kinds of plastics, cardboard, paper. After Wilhelm graduated, the program he led died and with it, the excitement for recycling. But the bin stayed. Every time you think you're recycling a glass, aluminum, or plastic material, you aren't. Please, no! 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 But it's not all bad. The school does recycle some cardboard, paper, and other miscellaneous items like light bulbs and tires. Thanks to the choices by one Sodexo employee at the CAF, all the takeout cups and plates are biodegradable. However, the system in place needs more attention, and we need to stop pretending like we're doing all we can. The U.S. is number one worldwide in producing trash, and about two-thirds of it will end up in a landfill. And while our country only represents about 5% of the world population, we use nearly a quarter of all its energy. The disparity with waste and energy intake is shocking. The consumption of just one American would be equal to two Japanese, six Mexican, 13 Chinese, 32 Indian, 128 Bangladeshi, and 370 Ethiopian. And of the trash we create, only 34% is recycled. The university advocates for responsible citizenship and a deep respect for the beauty in God's creation. So why isn't our school doing more? Unfortunately, it all comes down to money. Recycling can be expensive with all the processing that's required, and right now, Walla Walla's fiscal focus just isn't in line with an all-inclusive recycling commitment. But honestly, what's most important is to minimize waste in the first place. We all could cut back on the extra stuff in our lives. Reducing our mindless consumption each day and replacing single use with reusable can really add up. Practice saying no thanks to those things that you really don't need. Just pick one thing to change. Maybe it's saying no to plastic bags or just carrying around a reusable water bottle. Every small step in the right direction helps, and our individual effort really does matter because together, it will bring about a cultural change. By your choice to bring a reusable cup when getting a drink at the Atlas, others will take notice and it creates a sort of social ripple effect. People should really try to educate themselves. Ultimately, this is our planet. We should do the best for ourselves and keeping it clean is like basic. The truth is, we all know the right thing to do. We just need to do it.
Hey guys, if you like that Azwu recycling video and you want to see more recycling on campus, go to azwu.com slash recycling and let your voice be heard. Jared, what you doing? Uh, yes, um, so we will be recycling all of our Azwu videos to YouTube, so go check it out. Is there anything else inside? Yeah, yeah. Just keep like, just take it out and like drop it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>